Hi friends, in times like this, you know the times of pandemic, everybody is looking for a very good video conferencing tool to schedule the meetings as well as to conduct the online classes, isn't it? Well, I'm into online teaching for many years for now. By the way, if I ask you which is the best video conferencing tool, the knee-jerk reaction would be Zoom, which is, you know, massively popular these days, isn't it? But how many of you know that the Zoom is now banned in many organizations and governments around the world? For example, US Senate, NASA, you know, the Canadian government and German governments have banned the use of Zoom. You know, the biggest issue with Zoom is privacy. Zoom practices something called digital hoarding. That means they are actually storing each and every bit of the information, you know, the private information as well as the video conferencing videos into their servers based in China. Another major issue with Zoom is security. Zoom has several security exploits, you know. The most infamous one among them is called zero day vulnerability. Another issue is something called Zoom bombing where an intruder comes into your video conferencing and broadcasts some obscene contents to the embarrassment of the whole audience. By the way, the free version of the Zoom has several limits. For example, number of participants cannot exceed 100 and the total length of the video conferencing cannot exceed 40. Of course, Zoom's major focus is on its business version that supports 500 participants and hours long video conferencing, but it costs you money. It's around 20 US dollars, that is 1500 rupees per month. Of course, the biggest disadvantage of the Zoom, as per my understanding, is that because of its popularity, it's super massively popular, everybody uses it, and its bandwidth is severely constrained. Zoom's quality, that is the video quality of the conference calls, deteriorates day by day. By the way, Zoom recently admitted that they're routing the data of all these video conferencing through a country. Guess what? China. So what are the other options? One obvious option is something called Google Meet, which now supports up to 100 participants, but finer control options are non-existent. For example, if you want to mute a participant or all participants, that option is not there. Google Meet also don't allow you to record the videos for archival purpose. So that is another problem with the Meet. Here comes Jitsi, my recommendation. Have you ever heard of this software called Jitsi? Jitsi is a gem, I tell you. First of all, Jitsi is an open source software. As an open source software, Jitsi is completely free. Plus, the source code is open for the whole world. So if you are a coder, if you are a programmer, you can develop to further improve the quality of Jitsi. So new versions are releasing every week. So it's getting better and better as weeks pass by. By the way, I'm a huge fan of open source software and open access publications. For example, I don't use Photoshop at all. Instead, I use something called GIMP. I use Firefox instead of Edge browser. Jitsi has no limit whatsoever it is. For example, it can support thousands of participants. If you want to host a very big webinar, Jitsi is all right. There is no limit on the duration of the conferences as well. You can simply go on and on for hours and hours, even 24 hours long conference you can host in Jitsi. Another big advantage with Jitsi is that you really don't have to create any special account to use the Jitsi, you know. All you have to do is simply go to Jitsi's site through a web browser and access and join an ongoing conference. So you can create a new conference. Obviously, you really don't have to install any special software to use the Jitsi into your computer. But if you are using a mobile phone, you would need their app, it's, which is very lightweight and highly rated app. The Android or iPhone app will allow you to join an existing Jitsi meeting or create a new meeting. So it's very convenient on the go. Again, no need of creating any special account for the Jitsi. Another biggest advantage of Jitsi is that it enables you to force mute all participants. If you are conducting a webinar of thousands of participants over Jitsi, this feature is very handy. Even there is an option to throw out or kick out some participants, you know, those problem creators in a big conference. You can simply kick them out of your room. Yet another option inside Jitsi which I like a lot is the participants have an option to click a button, an icon of a hand, to raise a hand to grab the attention of the speaker. So the speaker can then decide to entertain this person, the participant for a question or not. Jitsi even allows you to stream the whole video conferencing to the YouTube live stream. And through YouTube live streaming, you are recording the entire proceeding for the archival purpose, something Zoom can never do. Jitsi also allows you to share your screen. For example, if you want to project your PowerPoint presentation during a webinar, it allows you to do that. So Jitsi is a very powerful tool to conduct a webinar involving thousands of participants. By the way, if you're like me and use Slack often, you know, the workplace communication tool, 
Jitsi perfectly integrates within the Slack system. So how to use Jitsi? It's super easy. Come with me. I will show you how. So first let's go to the Jitsi website. It's jitsi.org. So as you can see in this website, you will see that Jitsi is, has this end-to-end -end encryption, which is really a strong attribute of this site as well as the software. And of course, this is security and privacy oriented, which is, uh, you know, in stark contrast with the Zoom and other software. So this is why I prefer the Jitsi, which is open source as well as, as well as it's, it's totally free. So all you have to do is that just click here, see it in action to start a meeting. So if you want to start a meeting, all you have to do is just name anything. So for example, I'm just naming it as Jitsi test. So you can just put any name and I click here, go. So as you can see, there are several controls here. So this is to end the, uh, the meeting to leave it. This is to mute and unmute. And this is for the stop or start the camera. Other options are to raise your hand to grab attention of the speaker. You just have to click here, raise your hand. Then the, the speaker will be notified. And this is to share your screen. For example, I click here, a specific tab inside the prop. Chrome browser that you can choose it. So usually I use this entire screen option and then I open my uh, PowerPoint presentation to share, you know, my presentation invite link. So to add more people, all you have to do is to copy this link and then send that copied clipboard cache into any of your friends. You can add a password so that the people even with this link, they need to add a password to enter into my room. For other options, all you have to do is to click this uh, more actions menu. So you can manage your video quality. You can go to the full screen. You can start live stream. This is what I told you about the YouTube integration. You can start recording if you want to save directly into the Dropbox. Share a YouTube video inside my meeting. I can blur my background and other settings mute everybody speaker statistics and uh, shortcuts so all these are different different things so for example if you want to start a live stream click on this live stream and enter this youtube live stream key here so you need to put your key or you can sign into your google so that the key will be automatically stretched so i'm cancelling it right now other options includes record directly into your dropbox as you can see that upload into the dropbox so all this file will be directly into the link dropbox account so if i click here the settings further settings you can go and check it out so what camera I use which microphone audio input if you have any trouble you would need to change your the camera if you have two or three different cameras or microphone you would need to change it you can put a profile name as well as your ID, email ID, and you can also put your calendar. I have already linked up the calendar with my Google Cal. And uh, other more actions include everyone starts muted. This is my moderator option. So when the conference starts, I usually click this option. The everyone starts muted. All these are different options for a moderator to fine tune this meeting. If you hover your mouse over any of these participants, you can see that the signal strength of that participant. So this is perfectly fine. If you really feel that the person is having a very low bandwidth or low internet speed, then you can just go and check it out. What You can identify the problem. And because I raised my hand, you can see that the hand has already been raised. So the moderator can see that this participant has got a question. Jitsi also has a very good Chrome extension that is available in the Chrome web store if you use the Chrome browser. Also, they also have an extension for the Firefox browser. So go to the Chrome web store to install the Jitsi meetings extension that has already been linked up in my video and click here to install it. As I already have it, it's asking me to remove from the Chrome. But if you haven't installed, you'll be presented an option to install it first. So once you install it, you will get an option here, the Jitsi option, create Jitsi meetings. So I can schedule a meeting through this Jitsi add-in of the Chrome. So for example, to create a Google Calendar meeting, as you can see, this page to create a scheduled meeting will be presented. All I have to do is to add a title and I just have to put 
the exact timing you know for example tomorrow or day after tomorrow or I can schedule in the end of this month 30th of April and exact time I can specify from 10 a.m. you know all this just like any other uh, event scheduling through the Google Cal I can add the guests here add the guests so uh, I ha just have to type the email addresses so to join an existing room all you have to do is to go to the Jitsi site meet.jit.si and add the meeting ID and then I click here go I can hear you yeah we can hear you yeah I mean you can start your pres presentation hello everyone I'm Dick Vijay and this is a presentation by me title of the presentation is Molecular Identification and Assessment of Anti-Cancer Potential of Ulva Species, under which my objectives are identification of ulva species based on morphological and molecular characteristics, identification of different extracts using these ulva species we have collected, and compare its in vitro anti-cancer activities, and then to identify different metabolites by preliminary phytochemical tests. So, First, we'll start with a little bit of introduction. As we all know that cancer is a global health issue and totally 13% of deaths, that is, that is 7.6 million people die due to cancers. Yet, to search and to explore these new drugs, 60% of the approved drugs are pre-NDA or either NP, they are related. These, uh, these all drugs are excluding vaccines or monoclonal antibodies. Okay, so the terrestrial plants and microbes are well explored than marine sources, and from last forty years, natural have been have been helping us in combating cancer. Most of the sources are. So first step is to go to the Play Store and search for an app called Jitsi Meet. And you will have to install this Jitsi Meet because in my phone it's already installed. Let me open it. Otherwise, you would need to install this Jitsi Meet app. I'm opening this Jitsi Meet. Then I would need to enter a room number. So my room number is that there is a test room which my friend has created to test it. So let me add this room identifier. So the identifier of this room is TESTDJ. So this is the room identifier number. And then I would, I'm clicking here, create or join. To search and to explore these new drugs. 60% of the approved drugs are. Natural products have been, have been helping us in combating cancer. Most of the sources are pre-NDA or either NP, well explored than marine sources. Hope this video has been useful to you. If you like this video, please click thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and share it in relevant groups. Goodbye and have a nice day.